you know, the big thing about any of this is to push yourself. I think you have to push your own limits. So if you're not a singer, sing anyway. You know, get on the track and, I don't know, add something with your voice. Because um, it's always compelling when a voice is there. It could, you know, be vocally stuff. It could be a hook. It could be, um, you can use your voice so many ways and it brings that human um, quality to it. I watched the Timberland master class and he was showing how he starts his beats with his mouth, which makes it so natural, you know? You know, just layers. Uh, I, I keep meaning to try that if I haven't yet, but just layers of, you know, just the kick. And just start like that, you know? And then, take it, take it. Right. And it was just doing stuff, you know. Whoop, whoop, you know. Whoop, whoop. And at the end, you put all those vocal tracks together. It was just amazing. It was so inspiring. So um, everybody, would, you know, encourage you all to to do the things that you maybe don't think that you do. Because I think we all know where our deficits are. You know, I think we all know what we can work on. I think you know we all know where we're afraid to try things and those are precisely the areas that we should try you know the areas that we should experiment and you know be fearless you know people talk about ear training and you know we talk about fear training so that you know music gives us you know that opportunity to fully engage our creative self you know and and, and music allows us to feel what we don't know yet you know, and what we can't put into words.